What's going on guys? It's Time Zone. Welcome back to the next episode of our Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play Blind. In the last episode, we finished up our time in the uh, the Forbidden Kingdom or the Forgotten Kingdom, I believe, Lost Isles. And uh, in this episode, we are right here smack dab in the middle of New Donk City at nighttime. It is raining, it is dark, it is bleak, but we're here to save the day. Um, now, we left off right below what looks to be something like the Empire State Building here. Um, and we're, in this episode, going to climb up to the top, take care of this Mecha Wriggler uh, metal worm thing that keeps on sucking the electricity out of the city, sucking the life out of these people, and just sucking, honestly. It's just, uh, it's, it's a bad time. And we don't want these city dwellers to have to deal with it anymore. We're about to take care of business. Um, I'm going to first check out what's over here because it's very enticing. Uh, it looks like there's some side stuff. What's up? Can I... I'm probably going to be able to wall jump all of this. So let's do that. Let's take a cool little side... Oh, purples. Alright, sweet. A few purples over here. And uh, that electricity was just bringing us up to the top anyway, so... We just took a little cooler of a route. Uh, anything down here? Looks to be some grating. Uh, I'm itching to go to the top though. I'm itching to go up to the top of this building, take care of business. So we're gonna go right up there. There is a moon right off the bat that we can grab. This thing is spinning like it's nobody's business. This is some safety. This is some great safety here. Call OSHA, somebody call OSHA. Take care of this. Um, you will notice that I have a significant number of coins now. And that is because I did have another recording mishap uh, right after the last episode where I worked to record through the end of this one. Uh, I did, spoiler alert, beat the boss already uh, and then lost all my footage, which is uh, such a mwah, great time. Love it. Uh, so what I did is I took my roommate's file where we are trying to 100% this game and uh, just moved up past the Sand Kingdom back to here. Uh, so it was a little bit of a journey, but we're back. We're back. We're back in action, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what it feels like to climb this building and what it feels like to beat some baddies. Uh, this is really neat, actually. I really like this, that they're showing how to get in there from the inside. This is the inside of the building. I don't know why there's an endless pit at the bottom. That doesn't seem like a place I'd want to work. But you have windows on the inside, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of into that. I saw some purples over there, actually. Uh, I guess they're up top. Oh, okay, so you can get them using that elevator. I'm not gonna go dive to my death on that end and try to get some of those purples. I'm just gonna hop right on over here, continuing down this path. And something that I did mention in my recording that got lost, um, I still had the commentary, but I lost the, the game footage. Uh, something I mentioned in my commentary is I really, really like the inside of this, this building here. I think the platforming here is really cool. It's very classic platforming. It's not really like 2D side-scroller necessarily, but it's close. Uh, there's some depth to each of these steps. Yeesh. There's a little bit of depth here. Oh, oh! There's also a little bit of depth here. Got him. That's, that's where I planned that. I planned that all along. Alright. So we're right back where we left off. Um, you can see those purple coins I got just before dying. Uh, and now we're here, so I'm gonna grab some of those purples and move right on. Oh god, these little guys are are just ankle biters. They just come right up to me. They're sneaky, sneaky little dudes. Uh, let's go grab some of those purples. I'm just gonna long jump over here, grab these. And I think that's the, uh, I think that's the elevator that takes you to the other purples, but let's, uh, let's just keep continuing on forward here. Oh! If you hold the uh, if you hold the trigger, you slide down the pole, which is super useful, actually. And I'm going right back to where I came from. All right, so let's get right on top of this and continue our way. But yeah, I love the platforming here because it feels very side scroller uh, 2D. But there's of course this depth and a little bit of z-axis involved. All right, these guys are so small, but they're so annoying. I can knock those posters off. I don't... I did not know that. <laughs> Thought I'd figure that out. 
I love also that these larvae, these start off as larvae and then turn into flies like immediately. Or are they mosquitoes? Mosquitoes are flies or something. They have like really long noses. Uh, what, are, what do you call them? They're, they're not noses, they're like... Uh, they're not... Pro was it proboscis? Is that what the butterfly things are? Pro proboscis? Is? They're just pointy, they're pointy things. Right over here we got another... Oh, extra life, thank goodness. Lord knows I needed that. Okay. Stepping right back outside. Continuing our journey up. Still not high enough. We still have a little bit more to climb. That's also super cool that you go inside, climb up, go outside. You're like seeing your progress up, uh, up this building. I wonder if it's actually one to one. If the height you climb is actually the height of this building that we've climbed outside. You guys, you guys kind of get what I'm getting at. Oh wait a minute. There's, there's stuff down there. Yeah, I see, I see that giant mechanical monster, but I want to grab some of this. I think there's just these purples on the side, which I might as well just pick up real quick like, and then slide right off. I like that you can move Mario side to side when you're sliding down walls. It really helps a lot. <laughs> and now, we see this guy right up top. This is so menacing. I love this villain. It's so dark and all mechanical and spiky and edgy, almost. <laughs> something not something that you wouldn't really expect in a Mario game. But this guy looks really freaked out, so I'm gonna go talk to him and see what's... Why is he even up here still? Dude, get out of here. Get off this building. He's trying to suck up all the juice from our city. Yeah, I can tell, bro. I can tell. I'm about to put an end to this nonsense. Let's go! Man. Is this a Wriggler, or is this just another robot-looking thing? I feel like it has to be a Wriggler. Make it cannon, boys. Make it cannon. Nintendo, I'm counting. Oh! He knocked us right off. <laughs> this guy has bones of steel. Alright, so here we have these cannon bros just chilling here, shooting at me. Just let me, let me at peace, man. I'm trying to save the city here. Get rid of that guy. And we're just gonna shoot each of these little, uh, each of these little, uh, segments, I guess. These round little segments of the, of the, of the Mecha Wriggler. I'm just gonna call him that. This guy's Mecha Wriggler. It's like Me Meta Ridley, Mecha Ridley. This is the Wriggler version of that. Shooting away. Pop, pop. Perfect. Thank you, Cappy. Cappy's a good coach. I like what Cappy says. He's not too talkative like they tend to do in a lot of other games. <clears throat> Bye. But he's talkative just enough to feel like you got a buddy with you, kind of like chatting with you and giving you hints, giving you feedback, giving you some motivation and encouragement. And he helps us possess people and enemies. Do I shoot him? I actually kind of... I think we just have to wait. I think we just have to wait. Yeah, he's back up. Another thing I mentioned in my original commentary <laughs> was I really like the the throwback almost. I feel like they had to have taken inspiration from Puppet Ganon in Wind Waker here. Uh, Puppet Ganon's snake form, where he turns into this balloon animal almost of snake with balloon animal of snake, English. A balloon animal that's shaped like a snake with little segments looking exactly like this and I don't think you actually have to do you have to sh you do have to shoot an individual segment with I think the light arrow to make it fall down and then you attack its tail so it's very similar to this except there's not just a single segment you're just shooting all over this machine um, I think it would be kind of cool if it was its own segment uh, like a single segment that you had to target and be really good with the cannon to hit but I mean thinking on that now if uh, if you knock out a lot of the segments, I guess you are at the end of the day targeting a single one for that last shot. So I guess I guess they got it. Oh yeah, you got the head. You got the head, which I'm having trouble shooting. Time zone, you ask for more difficulty and then you just can't live up to it. This is freaky though, the writhing, the writhing in the in the buildings. Crazy. But we done! We done.
we're about to get some sweet, sweet guitar. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I love it. I'm almost I'm almost happy that I lost the original recording so I could just listen to that again. Just keep listening to it as many times as I want to. And now we're here in sunny old New Donk City. A fresh start for the city. There's Pauline. She still looks a little worried. I just saved the city for you, Pauline. Big bug thing. We got rid of the big bug thing. Okay, that's one way to put it, Cappy. I think my name is kind of cooler. A little bit. Alright, more power moons. And our ship is still kind of damaged. Like, the paint has been blown off of it from our fight with Bowser and when he kind of knocked our ship out of the sky with a cannonball. That's kind of cool. I like the continuity there. It's not just a fully fixed, you got power moons and fixed the whole ship and everything's good. It's like... It's scarred, yo. It's a little scarred. It's kind of neat. Anything around here? Oh, look at this. Is this a new kingdom? No, no, this is Wooded Kingdom. I'm gonna jump right into this painting. Go grab a moon there. You will also notice, by the way, uh, in the Wooded Kingdom, or maybe not if it doesn't show it, but we have gotten a ton of moons on this file, on this save file. Um, as I mentioned, my original LP file got screwed up because I beat the boss and I couldn't go back to it. Oh, here's the cage. I mentioned this in episode 10. Oh, do not want to fall. I think I mentioned this in around episode 10 or something. Uh, I was like, there's clearly a moon there, but I have no idea how to get it. This is how you get it. ABC. All right, and you know what? This is an episode about the Wooden Kingdom. This is an episode about a new donk, so we're about to go right back into the city. Breaking the fourth wall a little bit, um, as I've started to enjoy doing in these videos, I have been told uh, that a little more bite-sized uh, of a video is probably going to be more enjoyable for you guys. Um, I got a little bit of feedback saying, hey, uh, 20 minutes might feel a little lengthy, and I want to give you guys stuff that you can enjoy, that you click on and have a good time watching, um, and don't feel, you know, almost tired or or slightly bored or whatever afterwards. <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep that in mind, and let's just grab a couple of moons before we seriously dig into the city. Let's just jump, jump right back downtown. How do I even get there? There we go, okay. Oh, what is this? You can press down to take a snapshot. What? Oh, this is crazy. So then I can take, so then this takes a screenshot. That's so cool. No filter? You can change filters on this? Sharpen. There it is. There's that beautiful Insta filter right there. Fisheye lens. Smear, yo! This looks sick. Silhouette. How did I never realize this was a thing? Oil painting. Guys, this looks amazing. I, I should be taking some six. Game Boy! Oh, no way. This is sick. This is so sick. I'm going to take a quick smear picture because Mario looks like he's about to do some crazy nonsense. I've never really like played around with these bottom bottom buttons. I guess down is the only one that actually does something. For now. At least for now. So let's go back into the city. Boom. There's that music. Love this music. And now the uh, the taxi actually does stuff. You can hop on the taxi to get some extra air, and then fall right off, fall right off of the, uh, the thing. What is this? Oh, I've definitely, this was in the trailer too, right? Wait, can I catch the car? No, I can't catch the car. Can I, can I control this guy? Yo! Here we go! Oh, this is nuts. Okay, to accelerate. Oh, there we go. 
So it's just up and down to accelerate, and then you have to turn around with the with the right with the right Joy-Con. Man, don't know my directions. Let's just keep doing donuts. Just keep doing donuts until we get the moon, right? That's definitely gonna help. Uh, how do I? Wow, this is not, guys. This is not easy. Or I just suck. Or I just suck. Okay, let's just back up and then. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay, after spending way too long trying to get this car in a position, I don't know why I'm so bad at this. I think I finally got it. Boom! There we go. This was sick. I'm gonna jump right out. I don't want to do this car anymore. My spatial, uh, spatial understanding was just totally screwed up holding these two and like, using both of them. I used to be really good at RCs. Used to be really cool at driving those RC cars. Are you good at those? Can you get good at those? I feel a spirit of remote control in this stuff. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Yo, oh man. Okay. We're gonna do this race and then I'm gonna call this an episode because this looks sick. 35 seconds. Guys, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna do well. This is it. This is do or die, baby. We got our suit on, we're professionals, we are we're gonna hustle all these guys. They saw us outside, they saw us fiddling with this stuff. Alright, who do I have to who do I have to control around here? There we go. Alright, 35 seconds. Let's go. This feels like um this feels like that Mario Party game. Boom. Okay. Just keep keep accelerating, keep turning, keep turning. Keep going. Oh. That was bad. Oh. 964, it just paused on that. Why did it, was that my lap? I guess that was my lap. Okay, it's not too bad if I want to hit, what was it, 35? Eights? Oh, I'm getting better every lap, boys. I'm getting better every lap. Twenty-six seconds, new, new record! There we go. Is that second place? Is there, is there another moon I can get for first place? I should have just, I should have not even raced that well if I wanted to. No. Why was it not on the first place podium? I don't want to be second place. Why would I ever be second place? How do I get first place? I'm gonna do this again just to see. Okay, so I got a new record! I'm gonna see if this gets me... It doesn't get me an extra moon, and you see that ghost because I did not beat my record uh, once. So I guess maybe if I come back later, it'll have a first place kind of thing. But you know what? I'm kind of good on racing for now, and I think you guys are too. I'm gonna leave us off right here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. All the good old stuff, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.